Well, the end of the day, I like to get a little fire going, and my gardening is looking pretty good this early spring. But uh, this film is going to be uh, about cops. Now, true, I've heard a lot of sad and bad stories about cops uh, being on the streets for the 27 years now. But I'd like to tell you about the best cop I ever met. When I was a kid in a town some distance west of McCook, there was uh, a cop that uh, in this small town. And I was there for about 10 years uh, as a kid from kindergarten on up. And uh, during that time, that single cop uh, never gave anybody a ticket in that town. He uh, also had to buy his own police car. The town didn't buy him a police car. He had to buy his own. And he bought old junkers, and they worked just fine. Uh, rather than spend $30,000 and drive around in fancy police cars like they do nowadays, which is, uh, you know, really irritates the taxpayers when they see that. Be that as it may, this old cop, he was a, a good old boy. Uh, he would stop, I saw him stop a number of people, probably chewed them out a little bit or told them they had to do something different or not, or quit doing whatever they were doing. I was told when I was a kid to quit riding uh, my sled on the uh, icy snow uh, down the main street. They said, you know, somebody will run over you. You got to get off, you know, to one of the side streets. Okay, fine. So that's what us kids did then. And a number of times we'd ride our bicycles at night and again he'd stop us and say, hey, you know, stay on the side streets. Don't get on the main street where a car might come by a lot easier and not see you in time. And he'd do things like that, but more often than not, he'd stop you and say, hey, uh, they catching any fish, you know, on the Republican River or the Frenchman? You know, he'd always looking for, uh, to catch a few fish. And uh, he'd always ask about that. And he, but he was a good old boy. Uh, we were, uh, my father was a sharecropper, and he was one of the few farmers that had a four-wheel drive pickup. And uh, so a number of times uh, this old cop would come over and say, hey, somebody's sick out in the country or a woman's going to have a baby out in the country and they can't get her in because it's too muddy of roads. And so he borrowed my dad's pickup and off he'd go and go get them and bring them into town, you know, or to the hospital, wherever they needed to go. And, of course, he'd put a little extra gas in it for us and stuff like that. And we never charged, nor were we, uh, you know, demanding more money, nor was he. You know, it was just something to do for the community and to help. And uh, he, he was always out there and about. Uh, never heard anybody say a bad word about him. Uh, one time there was, uh, uh, we were around and uh, one of the adults asked him a question, uh, you know, about uh, the tickets. You know, he doesn't give tickets. And, uh, he, he said, why would I? He said, I'm a peace officer, not a tax collector. He said, everybody in this town pays enough taxes. He said, they don't need more taxes. And he said, as a peace officer, all I want to do is keep everybody safe. And that was his mindset. And uh, boy, did uh, he have the respect of the people. And uh, as far as I know, nobody ever stepped over the line so much that, uh, you know, even wanted to give him a ticket. And, uh, but he, he bragged that he never had given one. And I know that would irritate some law enforcement, and I know some judges, they'd get mad, and the county commissioners and other people, uh, especially nowadays, would say, we want all the money we can get. We want to suck the blood out of everybody, you know. And everybody's a criminal, you know, that type of mindset. But that wasn't him. And that's why I nominate him as the best cop I've ever known. And maybe you know of a good cop like that, or in your own uh, definition of a good cop. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Thanks for listening.